So I'm Lucy Scott, I'm a control system engineer, so I'm working on the SD40 control system. The control system is the nervous system of the tokamak. The control system controls all the subsystems that go to run the tokamak. So 24-7 the tokamak has, has to be kept in good condition. So it's all about knowing where you're at or, at all times. And the basics of control systems, you start off with a feedback loop. So you, you measure something, you process it and you produce an output. That output affects something and you use that result to feed back into your measurement in the first place. So you have this continual closed loop. We'll be using control systems like this, which is a, quite a, a very powerful microcontroller that we can program. The control system sets up the timings required for the very precise measurements. It allows consecutive measurement of everything at the same time. So we're using FPGAs for that very low level of measurement. An FPGA is a field programmable gate array. It allows us uh, through code to essentially create a circuit board which runs very, very quickly. We've got many, many smaller subsystems involved to control smaller parts of the tokamak. There's individual plasma controls controlling magnetics to steer the plasma inside the vessel. We've got lots of uh, data measurements which are collecting vast amounts of information as the shot proceeds over the course of a second for the time being. And then there's even things that you might forget about, like how warm is the building, what's the generator that's powering the power supplies doing, what's our energy usage, so we'll be doing all that as well, we'll be logging that. The control system um, enables the physicists to set up their required shots, set up their experiments they want to run. It's also about running a control room so that we can set up the plasma shots and see what's happening. So, so on the control screens we'll have ways to look at the data and say this is the current we want to run at the moment and then when the operator says I want to fire this the machine control system goes into overdrive, talks to all the systems, says this is what we're going to do and when everything's all right and only when everything's all right it says ready to fire and then in the control room started off by the machine control system you actually probably press a big red button and fire the shot and then the machine control system gets all that massive data and makes sure it's all stored and put into place and then as quickly as possible shows it to the people in the control room. The control system is all about setting limits and boundaries of what the systems can do. If the machine's too hot, any part of the machine's too hot, it won't be allowed to fire. If the vacuum pumps are reporting an error, it won't be allowed to fire. So it's all about protecting different parts of the machine. It's a research project, so we're developing new ideas and new principles as they're required. It's a great chance to learn new skills.